Hello class, my name is Austin Isbell, and I'm from Panama City Beach, Florida. Today, I will be giving a short brief on the leadership and fellowship observations that I saw in the Crimson Tide movie. But before I get started into that, I want to give you a quick background about myself. I was born in Mobile, Alabama, and then Shortly after I turned age of 12, I moved to Panama City Beach. I am 23, year old, 23 years old now, and I am a senior here at Troy University. My major is interdisciplinary studies. Most of y'all probably don't know what that is. It is a study of three minors, and my three minors are leadership studies, human resource management, and promotion management. I will be graduating in August, and then hoping to get a job, possibly in Nashville, working in the HR department. If that doesn't work out, I will be probably working in sales and office in Nashville. Now, since you have a little understanding of my background, I'm going to give you the topics I will be discussing in my brief. Throughout this brief, I will be describing the core leadership styles I saw in Captain Ramsey, Commander Hunter, along with what leadership styles I would or would not want to follow as a leader. And I will finally discuss how a follower reacts to a leader in a given scene, and if that was appropriate of his reaction from the, on the leader side. I saw two main leadership styles demonstrated through Captain Ramsey and Commander Hunter that were both effective and ineffective. Starting with Captain Ramsey, he was a 50-year-old vet who was very impatient, controlling, and impulsive. Most people would say just a stubborn old man. I believe Captain Ramsey portrayed transactional leadership because he was bl blindly followed by orders that he was given to him that he didn't consider any of the repercussions. For instance, he purposely ignored Commander Hunter's Opinion, opinion in the matter because Ramsey believed with his age and his experience was absolutely just the right without any second thought just because Commander Hunter has no time in combat like he had in the past. Now for Commander Hunter he was more analytical and cautious, had a cautious approach which was completely opposite of Captain Ramsey. I believe Commander Hunter portrayed a transformational type of leadership by respectfully questioning his boss when he felt it was necessary and gave Captain Ramsey an appropriate suggestion to consider. Commander Hunter felt it would be a better idea to wait for the radio signals to come back up to get a second confirmation on the missile launch. Rather than being so blind, like Captain Ramsey was on the matter, who got one order to blow something up and was all hands on deck. What really didn't help Captain Ramsey's leadership style was being so directed and aggressive toward Commander Hunter. I give a lot of respect for Commander Hunter because he responded with facts, reasons, in a calmly manner but in a serious way to Captain Ramsey. Especially after being screamed at and looked, made look stupid and you're gonna react very reasonable to someone with facts, that's ultimately a goal of mine. Out of the two leadership styles, I have described Captain Ramsey and Commander Hunter. I would not want to follow Captain Ramsey's leadership style because I like to create a vision. I believe in long-term goals rather than short-term goals. To me, Captain Ramsey was a true follower who blindly followed orders without question. All Ramsey believed in was that he would he has done it all before and he knows what's best, what's the best solution, no matter what anyone has to say on it. Now I would I would want to follow Commander Hunter's leadership style because he identified the problem, he tried to resolve by respectfully questioning orders 
which led the crew to believe in a change that needed to happen. Questioning your boss may seem to be the incorrect thing to do, but essentially it can change their opinion on the matter in a beneficial way that will hopefully help everyone as a whole. During the film, we notice a couple leadership styles throughout our two main characters. But I want to talk about Walters. Walters was the chief of the boat, also known as the COB, and how he handled the situation with Captain Ramsey and Commander Hunter during their dispute on the missile launch. Well, in the movie, there was a scene where a missile launch was ordered to fire against the Russians, but a second radio message was coming through and got cut off. Now you have two completely different leaders trying to convince the COB and the crew who's more logical on the decision trying to be made. Then they both ordered the COB to arrest one or the other for what they thought was the best because they were arguing who was right about firing nor firing the missile launch. So the COB is put into a very tough situation where all the COB is concerned about is the safety of his crew and the best interest for the ship. So I would classify Walter, the COB, as very self-aware of his surroundings. For example, his decision was to put Ramsey under arrest because of the outburst he had towards Commander Hunter, while Commander Hunter responds with reasonable, factual alternatives. I do believe Commander won the COB over by mentioning he needed signature approval for the missile launch, but Ramsey stated he didn't care nor needed him and put him under arrest for not complying with his orders. I do believe this was not very appropriate for a leader to do in front of his followers for them to having to decide to put one of the other in jail. In my opinion, I believe that Ramsey was acting a bit childish on the matter rather than thinking things through. The COB did handle this interaction very well though, because he kept calm and became self-aware of the situation. Overall, I love this movie and I haven't watched it in a long, long time, so I really enjoyed getting the chance to watch it again. And I do appreciate y'all listening to my brief of the Chris Tide movie. I can't wait to everyone to watch everyone else's to see their different opinions on the matter. I hope everyone has a great week and have a great weekend. If you have any questions, please, please feel free to comment on my post below. Other than that, I'm going to show proof of my awesome audience sitting right here. Here they are. They were troopers. Thank you.